Hi, Eric. How are you? Yes, fine. I've seen you in a while. You would think of cars and industry for, to reduce uh, the energy con uh, consumption, but then, of course, uh, you know, computers, emails also uh, consume energy. A standard email size uh, format is 4 gram of CO2. You think, okay, at first sight, that's not a lot. But actually, you know, when you start these email conversations and exchanges with colleagues, it's a reply and a reply. There is an attachment from a colleague, another version attached by another colleague with five colleagues in CC. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you, you reach up to some kilos of CO2 on a weekly basis mm -hmm. and on a yearly basis, it's like hundreds of kilos CO2 that's, that you produce by just sending emails to your colleagues. So this, this can be certainly improved. Yeah, it's not only good for the planet, but also for Business. our work environment to, to become more efficient. Indeed, indeed. So yeah, and that's why actually we, we tried and, and we collected with all the greening groups of the several executive agencies, these green tips mm -hmm. uh, yeah. to, to start to reduce this digital carbon footprint. That's why this is really an awareness raising uh, campaign or action that we would like to put forward with all the greening groups of the, the executive agencies. Did you know that the internet is one of the largest uh, contributors to the world's greenhouse gases? And that almost 93% of internet traffic comes from search engines? To reduce your searches, Avoiding unnecessary or multiple searches is a quick way to ease the emissions produced by online searches. If there is a website that you use every day, for example, sc.europa.eu, uh, a simple and environmental friendly solution would be going directly to the site itself instead of searching it on your search engine. On average, every uh, search by URL reduced by 35% the digital carbon impact. Number three, save your favorite um, documents and websites. As I'm working at EASEA, I'm using and I'm consulting almost every day the annual work program for Erasmus+. Plus. An easy way to save and organize a website that I visit regularly is to save to use the favorite function. Basically, I believe that the less emails we receive, the better our life is. So don't copy, first of all, don't copy everybody to your email. You will reduce uh, the kilobytes and the carbon footprint of your email. An average person consumes 6.8 tons per year. And then we understand that the emails only correspond to a 9% of this overall number. The institution trusts you, your manager trusts you, Trust yourself as well and don't copy everybody. The most important, Eric, is to limit the number of notifications you receive by unsubscribing from mailing lists, for example. And also, once you receive notifications, just make sure that you delete them as soon as possible. Another way of uh, reducing the amount of kilobytes of all those emails is to remove the list of, uh, of people who received the previous email when you reply. Also, make sure that you click reply and not reply all when you want to uh, reply to just one person and not to the whole list. Indeed, I'm never using my email signature when I'm writing emails to people who know me. Why? First reason is obviously they will see my name when receiving the email. And secondly, it is saving even though not so much, still five kilobytes per email. And uh, I would say the main reason of being careful about this is that we are working here in a very large organization. We are using the emails a lot. So uh, for these reasons, make the savings and don't put the signature towards people who already know you. The amount of emails sent out in the whole world during the year, it uh, comes to the uh, 7 million extra cars on our roads. So it's enormous and it's worth probably a joint effort. Most of the time we work on the shared platforms, the reduction will be 81% per year.
I'd like to show you two options. What we can do personally already now, and another option what you can do as a whole unit, agreeing on some common rules to, to change things. But we see here now the email that you received with a link to uh, click here and to open the document. You should share the responsibility. So let's see, for instance, who's responsible for the grant agreement preparation files. Put a name on it, and then it will be the person who will be responsible to keeping these files up to date. Put some rules in place too, because they will be helpful to come back and for the newcomers. You go to Insert tab, and then you just select Hyperlink. And most often we need the link to the file on which we have recently worked. So you click on Recent Files here. And I select the recent document and I click on OK. And I have a link again. We are coming now more and more starting using new collaborative tools. And this is really best tool when you collaborate. It means joint drafting. You want to prepare together in the unit or with five colleagues a document. You can work simultaneously on this document. And again, you can very easily share links instead of attaching copies. Contrary to the U drive, which is still limited to your unit and you cannot easily give access to other agencies, to other DGs, you can share links outside your unit, outside this given team, so to other DGs, and also to externals. As project advisors, for instance, in RIA, we often work with project teams, consortia, coordinators. You can easily share outside the commission as well. I'm very happy to share the best practice of my agency, Sinea, because it uh, has a very well-developed intranet. And this will help, you know, it help us a lot to save uh, um, gigabytes to, to save time, to avoid uh, searching on internet uh, information. And there is a dedicated section called the quick links that are really very useful with the links to all programs, to all tools that we use. So we just need to go there and click. Ah, hi Eric. How are you? Yes, yes. So you, you did the tour? I did the tour and uh, I was amazed uh, of how many tips I got from the colleagues. Okay, so we have seen now uh, what we can do to reduce our carbon footprint. Uh, you, me, everybody. To think about before you send an email, to apply the tips we have put in the videos, to be digitally frugal, as we say, and to also contribute to the Green Deal. So please do it.